Yeah, it was definitely a collective effort. You know, those guys stuck me hard, you know, uh, was up all over me. And, you know, just got to try to get open, try, got to try to find ways to, you know, score the ball. But, you know, my teammates definitely helped me, you know, throughout the game. It looked like you were frustrated at first, and then I think at the under four, DJ went up to you with more energy, and then you, like, screamed, and then after that, you got those two buttons at the end of half. And then it's like, the guys hold you accountable. You're a freshman to hold you, an upperclassman, accountable. What does that say about the team? Um, that everybody's together. Everybody's one. You know, it's brotherhood. You know, it's just they supposed to have held me accountable. I supposed to hold them accountable. So, you know, it's definitely you know, a, well, just a family thing. So, you know, the for both the you goals guys, coming, how significant. Oh, sorry. What were the goals coming in tonight defensively? Um, just oh, just staying more like physical. You know. You know, a couple games, we wasn't as physical as we should. But, you know, we definitely emphasized that coming into this game. And, you know, just coming off ball screens, trying to get up in ball screens and things like that, and even rebounding. You know, we definitely emphasized that in the locker room before the game. So, yeah. For both of you guys, how significant was it to come into a place like this and just take it? I mean, you, you led the entire game. Uh, it seemed like every time they made a little push, you guys had an answer. I mean, it, was a, it was a game, a kind of performance you guys needed. Yeah, I'm going to say it was, you know. Coming into the game, nobody believed that we, was gonna, we, we were going to win the game. Nobody really believed in us. So we came into the game, you know, with nothing to lose, you know. So that was the mindset we came into the game with. And um, we told ourselves that if we really want this, we can get it, you know. It all depends on ourselves. The coaches can talk, how, like, however long they want to. If we don't lock in defensively, you know, and play as one, like, if we don't trust each other, like we're not going nowhere, so we came in, we came into the game, you know, all focused. Like, like we was all focused on defense, you know, because we know we was gonna get whatever we want offensively, you know. So coming in and looking in defensively, that was all we needed, and that was how we won the game. For either one of you guys, Cal just talked about how he thinks you guys play better on the road. What is it? You've only lost two true road games. What is it about the road that brings the best out of y'all? We just gotta be as one. You gotta be a family, you know. The fans are gonna be loud. You know, in the arena, and we just got to stick together. That's what it's all about. So we stay together even more on the road, and that's how we got the uh, W today. Um, we also do it because nobody believes we're going to win on the road, you know. So we come in, like I said earlier, you know, we come in like we're not to lose. We play free on the road because nobody believes we're going to win on the road. So that's how we do what we do. Um, like I said earlier, we can do it. You know, we can do it as a team. That's if we really want to do it. We came into this game, you know, because, again, people said what they said online. People said, like, we bad defensively. So we came together as one, you know, like, we can't let people say like things like that, just like that about us, um, our defense, you know. So I love the energy on defense, you know. It's all about playing as one. You know, everybody did their job. Everybody did their job. That's what I'm gonna say. Antonio, it seemed like the. The crowd didn't get going all that much because y'all came out so hot and got the lead. But then when they cut it down to five, you kind of took over for a little while. Can you talk about that sequence and kind of your what you were doing there, a lot of drives and everything? Um, I just realized they were playing me more physical. I was taking a couple floaters. But, you know, I realized, you know, I got to get to the rim. You know, I got to stay physical down low because, you know, it was kind of bumping me and stuff. I was taking some floaters. I realized, you know, I got to be more physical. got some layups and then, you know, opened up my, you know, three my uh, three-point range, so I definitely knocked down one. So, you know, I just got it going after that. And then, you know, the guys looked for me, you know, at the end of the game. Antonio, uh, coming off the win the way that you guys won against Ole Miss and knowing that Auburn had just rolled South Carolina in this building, did you, did you sense any kind of different level of confidence from – this group heading into this game that might have been a little bit different from any other point in the season? Like, did you know just how much was on the line here for you guys to prove yourself? Yeah, definitely. You know, the guys was energized before the game was even started. You know, I could see, 
you know, the energy shifted, you know, as, you know, we was in the locker room talking to one another, you know, just hype, you know. So I was like, okay, you know, these one of these games, we, we going to grind and we going to play physical and things like that. So I definitely realized that, you know, as being a vet, you know, and being, you know, through these games and things like that. So, yeah. All right, thanks, everybody.